Howdy gamers, old gamer guy here. Welcome to another Stellaris console edition video. Um, I've unlocked some technologies for my fleet. Uh, nuclear missiles and things like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, like apparently, if I choose my fleet, they're upgraded to what they can be upgraded to at the moment but if I look at my destroyer and it's on auto best we've got sentinel point defense two blue lasers and then two sentinel point defenses so what I want to do I've got blue lasers on my uh, my corvettes are now ha they knew they now have two blue lasers and a coil gun so what I want to do, and that's that's fine. I'm going to leave them like that. But I want to, what I want to do with the destroyer is take. I don't know if I want to have a coil gun or a blue laser, but I definitely want to take one of the blue lasers away and give them missiles. Um, not sure. I I think the uh, the blue lasers have a longer range. Then the coil gun, range of 45 for the coil gun. Oh no, the, the coil gun's longer range, look at that. Okay, hmm. So, okay, I'm gonna have missiles and then we'll go coil gun with them since we have all those Corvettes with blue lasers on them. And then we will save this design wait rename this design I'm not gonna give it a clever name it's uh, missiles coil gun point defense class MCP and then we'll save it and now it's here in our list here so what I want to do is look at my fleet uh, this is the destroyer. So if I disband this destroyer, why can't I just, um, I would like to split them off. Disband the fleet, but that just takes it away. Well, I want to get rid of it anyway, because I want to rebuild two destroyers with my new design here. So I'm going to just disband this one yeah the destroyer is gone and then we will build uh, let's see it takes 244 so I'll build one of those and we will unpause Let this destroyer be built, and then we will build another one. So I'll have two destroyers, and then these Corvettes. We'll see how that works. Okay, so otherwise, construction ship is still working right there. Working on the frontier outpost. Ah. Uh -huh. The director of the Museum of Exobiology on Aroma has issued a request for the procurement of several live alien specimen. these specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It will require the full resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Hmm. A lengthy period of time, you say. I don't think we have the resources to spare at the moment. Sorry, fool. Okay, so there's 60% of the way done with that outpost. Uh, this one science ship is still on his way back to be upgraded. This science ship is up, complete. is up here doing his thing. So I'm gonna have them survey there. I think this has already been surveyed. But this is not. I want to check out this black hole. And then... Then they can come back here as well. 
then I might have the resources to spare, but I'm, I'm guessing they're not going to ask me to do it again. Uh, okay. Let's see. Construction ship, we're at 90%, so let's see what this does to our borders. 93%, 94%, 95%. Ninety-eight and Construction pow! There we go. That's what I'm Incoming talking about. But we are now running a deficit on our um, energy credits. So I'll have him build an, uh, a mining base or a mining station for the energy there and the energy there, and then I can build one here. So yeah, we're going to be fine on our energy. We've got, we can still build another one here. Um, there's one down here that hasn't been built, so we'll be fine. Oh, here, there's another more energy there, so we're going to be good on energy before too long. Uh, let's see, what was this alert? Negative balance, yes, I know. Construction complete, yes, I know. Non-aggression pact. They are inviting... Okay, the Grand Duchy over here. Is that... Yeah, these guys are asking us for a non-aggression pact. Uh, Galaxy presents enough threats without having to worry about a war between the Pert Cloud and the Tilinesi Grand Duchy. We suggest entering a non-aggression pact to mutually secure peace. I'm, I'm all about that. That's fine. Theocratic monarchy. See, we could be... We could be good with them, I think. Uh, and then what's going on with our other contacts here? Uh, we are rivaled with them. Maybe they rivaled me and I didn't rival them and I just didn't notice. I don't, I'm not sure. Everybody else, yeah, we're not rivaled with anybody else. Yeah, they declared they declared me a rival, but I never declared them a rival, and they're hostile towards us. Well, screw you! I'm going to declare a rivalry. I think that's going to give me a little influence, actually. So let's see what happens there. Declare a rivalry. Having them as our rival will give us a 0.6 influence each month and may make their other rivals friendlier towards us. So, yeah. That, it gave me a tiny bit of influence, but it wasn't enough to make me positive. It's just... Uh, okay. <laughs> insult. And sending an insult will greatly reduce their opinion of us. They're already hostile to us. Should I insult them? Maybe I should. I'm not going to do it just yet, though. Okay, so the construction ship is idle. So they should build. Look at all this. Look at all these minerals in this system. Oh, yeah, minerals. Mining station, yes. What should I do? I've got some spare minerals here. Um. There's my destroyer. I wanted to build another destroyer, I think. Of the MCP class. So we'll do that. And that takes away a bunch of minerals. But we're, but we're adding 33 min minerals per month. So that's good. Uh, and everybody else is doing something. Oh, the science ship here is... They just now got into the system, so they're coming over here to upgrade. So that's cool. I like watching the ships do their thing. It's just uh, when you're actually playing the game, 
it's usually better, it seems anyway, better to keep an eye on the overall the overall view out here. I think we're doing pretty well though compared to these others. At least so far. System survey complete. Ships upgraded. Okay, now they're upgraded. I'm gonna pause the game. And they should be able to check this out. Yes. Check that out. Is there any other outstanding anomaly or anything that I haven't? Doesn't look like it. So that's cool. I'll let them do that. This guy's got his orders. I'll let him do that. And I'll go ahead and unpause. Uh, wait, what's, what are these alerts? System surveyed, fleet upgraded. Okay. All right. So I'm going to let all that play out. Complete. Oh. Construction complete. That only put me back to negative one. I thought I was going to be back to at least breaking even there. But that's all right, because we can come over here, build a mining station here. And then after they're done with that, well, I won't be able to build the research station, but I need to rebuild my research stations that were here that was here. Yeah, definitely to get that five research back. And I think my people here, let's see, he's governing. I thought I had a mandate still uh, okay there it is it was a mandate for my other leader but I, it's still here and uh, I think I was working toward it but I think I may when I disbanded the uh, frontier outpost I think I, got, I took a step back on that so I need to go ahead and do that to get that influence because I'm running I'm starting to get low on influence so that would be good to have that I don't think there's anything else I can do to give me influence except for <laughs> rivaling people or insulting people, things like that. Uh, all right, so I'm going to end this video here, and then we will pick it up right here in the next video. Thanks for watching.